When running a performance audit on Google PageSpeed Insights, you'll find that Google recommends you to eliminate render blocking resources almost every time, meaning that you should always load your critical CSS and JavaScript in priority. But how do you decide which CSS is critical and which is not? Which part of your website should you delay to speed up another? Well, luckily for you, that's what we're gonna dive into in today's video. First off, what even is critical CSS and why does it matter? Critical CSS is a technique that extracts the CSS above the fold to display the page as quickly as possible. This is essentially the bare minimum CSS to display the content being viewed by a visitor. Now, why is this important to performance? Well, before rendering the page, your browser needs to download and parse the CSS files making those files a render blocking resource. And the bigger your CSS files are, the longer it will take for the browser to process them, which increases the time for a page to load, upsetting not only your visitors, but upsetting Google as well. And the page speed may also affect your SEO performance. This is because of the ranking factors, including the core web vitals. If you're not familiar with the core web vitals, we have a whole video that explains them on our channel and how they can impact your site. So then why is critical CSS necessary? Well, loading a CSS style sheet is typically how you style your WordPress website. CSS is the language used to describe a web page, such as the colors, the layout, and the fonts. See, this is what your site looks like with CSS, and here's what it would look like without it. That's a pretty big difference, and also it's not too pretty at all. Next up, we need to introduce the critical CSS rendering path. The critical rendering path is the series of tasks the browser needs to perform to render a page on the visitor's screen. For example, those tasks include downloading photos, the fonts, and the text display on the web page. As mentioned before, the browser also needs to download your CSS files to render the proper layout of your page. So if your files are really large, visitors will end up waiting until the whole file file has been downloaded. But what if the browser could start to render the CSS as the download progresses? Well, that is exactly the optimization of the critical rendering path. See, the browser follows five steps until it renders the page to the visitors, and a lot can happen during this process. That's why we should make sure that each step is completed as quickly as possible. So now that we know that, let's talk about the three steps to optimize CSS delivery. Step one, find and generate the critical CSS. This is identifying the minimum CSS code you need to display above the fold content. You need to find out what the user can see in the viewport when they first load your page. And it should be noted that determining the right critical CSS for a page can be complex, simply because visitors use so many different screen sizes, such as desktop, tablet, and mobile. Luckily for us, web dev gives us three tools that we can use to identify critical CSS. Critical, which extracts above the fold CSS, and it also inlines and minifies it. Critical CSS, which is another module that extracts the critical CSS. And penthouse, which is a good choice if your site has a lot of CSS. Step two then is to inline the critical CSS. This is done by adding the critical CSS in the head of the HTML document to eliminate all the additional requests to fetch these styles. In the web dev example, they have inlined the critical CSS in the head file so that way the browser can deliver it faster and render something to users as soon as possible. Then step three is to load the rest of the CSS asynchronously. This is delaying the non-critical CSS so it can be loaded after your visitors can see your web page content. This technique is also known as deferred loading. Now by following those three manual steps, you'll optimize your CSS delivery and your critical rendering path. However, there are more straightforward methods to do this, and it's by using a WordPress plugin. By using a WordPress plugin, this will definitely save you some time and avoid modifying your code files manually. And maybe you have guessed it so far, but our plugin, WP Rocket, can definitely help you out here. In our plugin, which is the most complete cache plugin, it can detect your critical CSS to inline and then defers it in the simplest way. And also, with installing WP Rocket, it automatically applies 80% of the web performance best practices on installation. So if this video has helped you, please make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss on any more content. And also subscribe to our newsletter to get easy and effective web performance tips to speed up your website. And lastly, if you're still wondering about the core web vitals, well, if you want to learn more, we'll leave a video right here for you to watch. Goodbye and have a good day.